So that's structured data. Another one, security. Been important for a long time. SSL or Secure Sockets Layer is what SSL stands for. That's just the technology for securing an internet connection by encrypting the data sent between a website and a browser, right? Or between two servers as well. It prevents hackers from seeing or stealing any information that's been transferred, including personal or financial data. Uh, like you wouldn't want to use a bank, right? If it didn't have a secure server, you want to make sure that everything is going through back and forth is secured. Super important. And in order to get an HTTPS on your URL, you have to have an SSL certificate. Now, it should be secured with HTTPS from the ground up. Back in the early days, it was usually only on a shopping cart you'd have to secure. Now, Google wants the whole thing to be secure from the ground up. Most or a lot of hosting platforms, you have to purchase like an annual SSL certificate that can range anywhere from 50, 60 bucks to hundreds plus, depending on the level and the kind of uh, security you're looking for. On the other hand, if it's a small website, some clients, some hosting companies use a tool called Let's Encrypt. It's free SSL offered by many hosting companies to just call your hosting company, ask them if they offer it or some other free alternative. Works great. Makes everything secure. Don't got to pay for it. It's part of your hosting platform. Super helpful. And then you also, for security, want to use HSTS, which stands for HTTP Strict Transport Security. Basically, what it means is if you maybe upgraded your site, maybe it's an old site, and you had a link in your website that pointed to HTTP colon slash slash of the secure version, having HSTS running won't allow it to show as an insecure URL. So even if you've got a, an error or something that says go to the unsecured URL, HSTS will automatically convert it to force the use of HTTPS. A lot of times, this is just a setting and your hosting account. Um, so you just want to check with your host to see if they can force HSTS. It can also be done through a piece of code on your um, HT access file. 